In this episode of Let's Talk Toads, we explain the tools the nematode uses to steal soybean yield. The nematode is secreting molecules, proteins, cellulases, these are enzymes that break down the cell wall, as that juvenile is migrating through the root. Once it finds its way to the vascular cylinder where all the nutrients and the water flow, that's where the nematode is going to stop and feed. And that's when the nematode becomes immobilized in the root and starts to form this elaborate feeding structure. What tools does the nematode have to take that plant cell and modify it into the feeding site? And it all comes down to spit. When I talk about spit, I'm talking about the secretions that are being uh, are secreted through the style of the nematode into the plant tissue. If the plant doesn't further respond to produce that feeding site, life cycle is done. And that's what we're interested in doing, is stopping that life cycle, stopping the nematode from development. We have 50 uh, genes, parasitism genes expressed in the glands, in the cyst nematode and, the, and, and 50 in the root knot nematode. And the way to identify these is we look at genes that we have cloned and see where they are expressed in the nematode. When we find that they are expressed in the glands, aha, it's there because it's been producing a protein that is involved in the secretion process and then involved in infection. It matters because if we know how the nematode is infecting the plant, the tools that the nematode is using to infect the plant, then perhaps we can design novel resistant genes to block that. The only way we can inhibit that nematode spit from functioning is to make a transgenic plant that makes something to inhibit the spit. All of these targets that we've identified in the spit, in the plant genes, we're getting the technology that's gonna allow us to do it very precisely. Your soybean success starts here.